All right, guys. So I'm back again with the episode number five of me driving on my own. And today's test center is gonna be host us again. I'm in front of the test center. The roads are quite icy. The weather is very bad. So let's see what kind of challenges do I find today. And again, apart from loads of different aspects of driving, I would be also driving on the country roads because that's one of the most biggest challenge in my opinion for host for driving test. Okay, so I'm moving from here. Okay, so vehicles coming from ahead. I'm on the opposite side of the road facing the oncoming traffic. It's quite icy like I mentioned before, so I might be moving with the higher gears today. So I can make the wheels less, so I can make the wheels go spin slower. Okay, so my right side, the pavement side is perfectly clear. I'm gonna put my signals. No one to, seems to be coming and I'm gonna move quickly towards the opposite side, to my side of the road because I was on the opposite side of the road. Again, the test center road is a fair zone. I'm gonna take the first road on the left, which is just before the bus stop. So mirrors top and left, signal left. And it's a bit too icy, so my speed should be a bit lower than normal days, basically. And I can see literally. Okay, I'm gonna clutch down and smoothly clutch up to the biting point with a bit of accelerator. So I don't use the brakes, but use the clutch and there we are. Okay, seems a bit too icy. I'm gonna take the first left again, mirror signals. I can see nothing. Normally, I should go into first gear here. But remember I said I would be moving on a higher gear today. So clutch is down and just a bit of the clutch. Just enough clutch that it just makes the car move. Not too much that it jumps and probably stalls the car. Okay, this is way too icy. So I'm going to keep it very, very low. A small tap on the gas. I need to use brakes less today. And I would, I would be keeping a bit more to my right side more closer to the cab so if I skid I don't hit the vehicles so at the end of this road I'm turning left so mirror signals my clutch is down I'm braking smoothly I'm following the path of where the vehicles are already being dri dri driven so less chance of skidding okay this is a very blind corner so I'm gonna edge out a bit left side seem to be clear right side seemed to be clear if someone was coming towards me they would have priority over me because i'm doing a junction and they are just overtaking the stationary vehicles gonna leave my brakes but i'm not gonna leave the clutch till about now even now i'm not leaving the whole clutch and now i'm gonna leave the whole clutch again i'm following the kind of the footprints of the other cars okay this is very bad and i'm turning right with the mirror signals again clutch goes down i'm not gonna put the car into first gear i'm gonna mostly move with the second gear today Okay, this junction could be these kind of junction which are making us go to the main road, the low lane where the test center is located. Is a they all are like very dangerous to be done because vehicles gonna block my views. So I got literally no visibility on the right side. I got mm, okay. The left visibility is a bit more, but the problem is while I would try to get the visibility here, my visibility on the left would be completely blocked again because of these two parked vehicles. So I can see from that gap there's no one coming, but there could be someone around the blind spot. So. I'm using a small amount of clutch, a small amount of clutch, just enough clutch to move, make the car move, nothing else. Okay, the car feels to be a bit of skidding, okay. I'm edging for, oops. Okay, got the visibility on the left side, someone's coming, so I'm not gonna make the car move. And at this point, my face of the car has swung, swung over, but I'm, I don't need to worry because that's how it works. Okay, I took my time. Okay, this seems better now, so I'm gonna go into third gear. But I still, I think I won't be doing 30 miles per hour because it's just like not the best option. First, the visibility again is not the best. Second, of course, a bit of icy roads. Easing off my gas pedal instead of braking. That's how I need to plan today. Less brakes. I would be using the engine brake to be slowing down most of the time today. So at the first roundabout of the day, I'm turning left into first exit. So about now, I'm gonna do my top and left mirrors, left signals. I'm slowing down a bit into second gear, and now I'm gonna bring the clutch up to the to the biting point so the car slows down on its own. And no one seems to be coming. Okay, that car is coming, so I'm gonna stop the car because they both are coming without a signal. Hence, they're gonna cross my path, and no one's coming, so I'm gonna move again. I'm gonna keep my left signal on so these people can keep on going. 
and after the bend I'm gonna change my gear into three foot is on perfectly safe to do so I might not be able to do a normal driving position according to highway code today because I can see the snow on the left side next to the curb basically so I don't wanna, I don't want to skip the car and I'm gonna leave my brakes now till the car slows down on its own checking my oil mirrors and I'm keeping myself on the left side I was already on the left side despite I didn't have two lanes at the moment because I could see the physical barrier so I would have expected that I was about to get the dual carriageway and I'm keeping a good distance from the blue car in front of me and from the next traffic light I would be leaving the dual carriageway using a small slip road on the right side okay not the next traffic light but the ones coming soon after this so what I'm gonna do because I have been given let's say I have been given an instruction and I'm not too far from the next traffic light so I'm gonna mirror signals and already be in the right lane because I could see a white car behind me so I'm like okay I'm gonna plan a bit early so by the time I will reach these traffic lights where I'm supposed to turn right I would have no problem so because we are leaving the dual carriageway so most likely we're gonna be provided the small slip road so mirror signal mm. okay I can signal now it's not a problem I would say because there's no confusion for people that I would be going somewhere else and I can see my slip road is controlled by the traffic light so I might have to stop again which is again easier so I won't have to judge any kind of a gap on my own basically and from this traffic lights I would be going right towards uh, towards Headingley I'm gonna do a bit Headingley and then I'm gonna come back towards Meanwood probably and I'll let you know what's the next plan okay this this time I'm gonna move with the first gear I have done my check in case these people were a bit too close to me but luckily everyone's doing a good position okay my signal is on but I did the mirrors again and I'm gonna ease off my gas pedal because the slipper seems to be very slippery and I'm gonna turn a bit more towards the curb and then steer back so I'm not a bit out as the Mini Cooper is slightly and now I can turn off my signal it doesn't matter because I can only go right and I can see a speed zone I'm gonna move with the second gear have checked my mirrors oops 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 okay okay I think Mini Cooper did a better decision to keep it a bit more to the left side and I went a bit over the snow basically okay into the third gear now I'm keeping about 25 miles per hour no need to speed up because again I'm keeping a good distance from the Mini Cooper in front of me okay traffic lights I can see a sign for the mini roundabout I'm going straight to top mirrors without braking with the top small tap on the brake I'm gonna break the clutch up I'm keeping a bit to the left side people coming from my head no worries my main check is clear and I'm not stopping at all and I'm gonna speed up a bit far ahead I can see some light flashing which is a force a zebra crossing it seems clear from both sides I'm planning quite early by the way you can feel it now at the mini roundabout coming up um, I would be going straight that means I can see one exit on my left I'm gonna drop my gear first of all with the top mirrors smoothly gonna bring the clutch up and that car is coming with the right signal hence he's gonna crawl across my path so I would have to give him way if I was closer I could have gone because the blue car was blocking him but I was far away for, for, the, for, for me to use him as a blocker all right and left mirror is not needed because it's literally obvious where I'm going and I'm gonna go into third gear I'm not gonna use too much gas. I'm press. Okay, I'm letting the car roll down on its own. And again, keeping around 25 ish. I can see the Azda van coming up. He might not stop behind the red, white, black car. So I'm gonna check my mirrors and I'm gonna move up a bit away from the away from the central line. So he can come over the central line basically. I got the bend coming up. It's not too icy, so I'm gonna use my brakes regular way of slowing down nothing else 
okay, I got a warning for a roundabout and it's telling me to reduce the speed as well. No, it's telling me to reduce the speed because I think it's a bit too windy probably. So I'm keeping about 20 miles per hour. I don't know what kind of roundabout is it. It could be a mini or a big one because the sign for the warning just tells you it's a roundabout. Okay, that sign tells us it's a mini roundabout. I'm going left with the top and left mirrors, left signal into second gear. This time, my visibility in the right is like extremely reduced because of the edge of the wall. And I am gonna go. We should not, if you cannot see much on the mini roundabout, we're not gonna edge forward as a regular junction because once your car has gone in the roundabout, you're, you, you need to keep on moving basically. Third gear has been done. Less traffic, so easy. Okay, road ahead is closed, so I'm gonna. Mm, I wanted to go straight, but okay, I'm gonna go right now with the second gear and I'm gonna hold my clutch so the car slows down on its own. And I'm gonna still hold my clutch so the car can. And now I'm gonna leave my clutch. I think I didn't see any speed sign, so probably would be the same speed. Taxi is pulling up or, yeah, he's pulling up on the bend and on the pavement. Both options were bad from him. Now I would have to overtake him just on the bend, which is not the best option. I cannot see nothing. Neither they can see me. Okay, at the next junction, I'm turning left. It's telling me it's a giveaway. It tells me it's a dual carriageway and it's a 4E zone as well. I'm gonna press my clutch now. I'm squeezing through the van because I can. I can see a bus lane without timing. That means I'm not gonna use it. Uh, no, I'm not gonna go. Okay, I can see a long queue coming of one, two, three. Okay, after the red car is the... Okay, yep. I need to build the speed a bit early because the gear was not like too much so it is a 40 zone i'm keeping a good distance from the red kia now i'm driving on the right side of the ro road so i need to be more closer to this curb on the right side so i'm gonna keep on checking my right mirrors more and more instead of the left mirrors the road's getting narrow again i'm checking my left mirrors because the bus line is finishing so i was like i'll just do a double check so going into 30 zone mirrors have been done into the smaller gear gonna hold on by in front for a bit longer so the car slows down a bit on its own without jerking as well and i'm in a steady zone i'm keeping about let me calculate how much gap i got i'm gonna do with the bollard over there the refugee island one second two second three and four yeah it's all right because it's not too icy so i can use the four second route i can see a sign on the left side which is telling me a junction coming up and just before the junction i have been provided three lanes one two three i'm gonna keep myself on the far left lane because two of the lane are going into a65 and the right one is going into retail park which i'm not going i didn't signal to move to the left side for a lane change because technically it was still not a lane changing because i had wasn't being provided a central line okay so I, i'm gonna put my clutch down and because i know the left lights are not gonna turn into green because so i'm gonna go into first gear straight away or I'm gonna obscure my car and chill a bit. Of course, it's a junction controlled by the traffic light, so I don't need to worry about anyone coming from the side. Of course, they're not, they're not gonna be coming here at all. And the plan has been changed. I'm gonna turn left, so I'm gonna already indicate now. People are about to. I'm not sure they might want to cross the road. Of course, they won't do it, but still, I'm gonna keep an eye on me on them. Lights are green, but still, I'm gonna do a nice last check on the right side just in case. And it's a quite a steep hill. So I'm gonna keep it around second gear first because it's a steep hill but the main thing is the traffic lights have been changing to red and I'm just going straight towards heading the B6157 I think it says and I'm gonna use less brake clutch down the car gonna slow down on its own and about now into the first gear and now I'm gonna stop here I'm gonna I'm not gonna use the handbrake I would be moving off manually with my biting pointer and everything And I won't be skidding here when I move with a bit of the gas here because it's not icy at all. 
biting point has been found. I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna press my gas and then smoothly clutch fully up and that's it. You see, I took a few seconds before I moved off. Like there's no need to panic because just you're the first car on a hill. That's one of the things most learn is stall on a hill. Okay, if I go a bit too much on the right, I'm gonna throw snow on the people coming from ahead on the vehicles. So I would try my best not to touch that part of the, the chunks of ice in the middle. Checking left mirror, then coming back to the left side. Checking right mirror, then moving over. The lady's walking on the road, of course, because the pavement was too icy for her. Easing off my gas pedal because I'm squeezing through a narrow gap. And I'm gonna go slightly over the line so I don't hit the vehicle and don't go too close to them. I'm gonna left mirrors, check left mirrors, and I'm gonna move back. I'm not gonna hit these part of ice because you see he's just throwing it unexpectedly basically. It's like splashing puddles on the left side. And I'm gonna check my mirrors for the traffic lights, going into second gear, keeping my clutch down because the traffic lights doesn't seem to be too fast. It's, it's alright for me to keep it down. And I'm smoothly gonna go into the first gear. As soon as the solid white line would disappear from me, for me, and I'm gonna stop. Again, I'm the first car, so I'm gonna keep myself prepared instead of skewering the car and stuff. Okay, checking my side mirrors, and I'm gonna move. Cyclist is not crossing, which is good. And the road seems less icier now, so I'm going into third gear. Zebra crossing from the right side is clear. Zebra crossing from the left is clear as well, but there's a street on the left side. So if someone was about to cross, I would be seeing them in the last second. So easing off the gas and checking with them one last time and I'm going to go. I need to overtake the white vehicle on the left side, which is definitely gonna make me go over the line. Hence, if someone was coming, I would stop instead of squeezing through that tight gap, basically. Okay, mirrors have been done. Easing off my gas pedal again and pressing it now. 30 miles per hour, doing about 28 to 29 miles per hour. And we got some traffic lights coming up. I can see two lanes, the right side goes right. And to go straight, I need to be on the left side, which I'm already on. Oh, lights are green, so I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna ease off my gas pedal just for a couple of seconds, then do the check, and I'm gonna press it now again. I cannot see much from the right side, so I'm keeping about 25 miles per hour. It's a 30 zone, by the way. People are walking on the road, so I need to give them enough room as well. Especially this guy with the shorts. So I'm gonna check my mirrors, go a bit wide for him. And checking left mirrors, I'm gonna come back a bit. I'm gonna follow the road. And the central line is leading me towards the right side. I'm not gonna brake. I'm gonna ease up my gas pedal, cover my brakes, but not pressing it. And now pressing the gas pedal again. And from the traffic lights, which are coming now, I would be turning left, so I need to move to the left side as soon as possible but i won't be able to do it because of the park vehicles but as soon as i would cross the park vehicles i would start going into the far left lane uh, far left side this time i'm okay now the traffic lights have been changed okay i'm keeping a good gap from the learner as well checking left mirrors once more now over there i should move with the second gear i'm gonna check my left mirror once more i'm keeping it quite close to the curb now so I have left enough room for everyone who want to go straight or right from the right lane. The left lane only goes left. And I'm going to stop around here. Or I can... No, it's alright. Okay. So I can see the left lane only goes left. And to go straight and right, it has to be the right lane. Like, they might not give green lights to all of three of us who are going right, straight and left. And I got the filter traffic light as well, so I need to keep on looking at it a bit because anything can happen. So the learner is indicating, which is fine as well. I'm not indicating, which is fine as well. The left lane only goes left. So, tech legally, we can go with our signal, but I think it's still a better option to put the signal because it would help pedestrian as well to know where we're going because the drivers might know, okay, this lane only goes left, but people walking on the pavement, they might start crossing the road thinking that we don't have the signal, so we are kind of going straight. So, 
I think I would do the signal as well when I go because I can see a green arrow which means only traffic who is going left can go. And I'm gonna hold my clutch for a bit more. I'm gonna keep myself a bit towards the curb so I don't go swinging over to the over the central line. So I'm in Headingley now. I'm gonna be going straight towards Lonewood Roundabout. Again, giving him enough room, ties and tarmac. Now I'm gonna move to the second gear. So I'm gonna find the biting point, hold it for more. I'm gonna press the gas, gonna go over five miles per hour and then I'm gonna leave it. And I'm gonna overtake this piece of snow a bit and there you go, I checked my mirrors even though it was the smallest movement ever. A big puddle coming up so there's no one, no pedestrian so I don't okay. care. And the learner seems to be going right so I got my way to carry on. I'm gonna check my mirrors, break a bit early because of icy roads. Clutch goes down about now. I'm gonna leave tires and tarmac again. Do neutral, handbrake on. Like I always say, securing the car and relaxing is your personal choice. If you do it, it's fine. If you don't do it, it's nothing to worry about. Okay, again, the filter traffic lights. I'm gonna check my left mirrors. And it says only people who are going straight and left can go. Hence, the learner would not be going anywhere. And these traffic lights don't belong to me because I don't have the solid white line. It's just a dupe. Sometimes they could belong to you. So watch out for solid white line next to the traffic lights. So I'm driving on a very narrow road. I got the central line and I got the cycle lane as well. So I'm keeping in between the cycle lane and the hatch marking in the middle, separating both roads. Got the speed camera coming. I'm not doing more than 30 miles per hour. from the van in front of me by the way he's braking so I'm easing off my gas pedal and braking a bit I think he braked a bit late he should have braked a bit early okay checking my left mirrors finding my biting point pressing the gas oh it's doing dot later on that's snow white okay hilly as well so I'm not changing my gear into forward I'm just keeping it with the third gear okay I'm gonna ease off my gas pedal coming a bit to the left side gone about 20 miles per hour and now I'm gonna press the gas and I can see it says Otley Skipton the airport and ring road so it's just not a roundabout it feel like a roundabout it's just a bend so we don't need to worry about anything yeah have a quick glance ease off my gas pedal now so I can do the bend smoothly and I'm pressing it about now while having a bit more visibility. Single carriageway still now. I can see a sign for the dual carriageway. That means I need to expect the physical barrier, the central reservation. And now I'm turning right into third exit. So I'm not gonna be in the left lane and then dual move to the right lane. I'm gonna straight away check my mirrors and position myself all the way on the right because I know the sign is just there, so roundabout is coming up soon. So I'm gonna slow down so he can go out new driver so I need to respect them go on driver you can make it I'm gonna go in second gear and I am speeding up because he's gone back okay I was turning right into third exit so mirrors top and right signal left I'm leaving my back gas pedal so I can go below 20 miles per hour and that's the best thing about alone's around but despite being massive 
it shows you everything like literally the whole visibility is there and the amount of vehicles coming towards me i cannot go nowhere i need someone to come from there as a blocker to be on the outer side like those vehicles that vehicle gonna block them and i can go both the out is coming with the right signal so i'm not gonna a blocker coming from ahead should be on the outer side this taxi is coming towards me he's not indicating enough for him i'm gonna find a bit of the biting point add the gas now i'm in first gear and i'm going to second gear divide number one I'm checking my mirrors before the second exit, putting my left signals and moving towards the outer side. I'm entering a 70 zone and mirror signal, wait a few seconds and now I'm going to speed up and straight away into the fifth gear, neutral, right and up. And now I'm going to go into adult, which is from the next traffic light. So I need to start planning to move back because I can see the sign for the traffic lights coming up, some mirror signals. I'm gonna slow down, I'm gonna push myself in. I mean, I'm not forcing the car behind to slow down. I had given him in plenty of room and in that slow down, he was perfectly fine. I could have gone faster and then moved back, but I was worried because it's an icy road. So I thought it might not be, I would have to go faster. That means I would have to brake harder. So I was like, I'll just pull, him, pull back instead of going after him. I'm gonna check my mirrors, indicate now early signal because it's a high speed road and I'm braking smoothly and smoothly. I'm okay, the slip road now. I'm, I'm gonna go in already. Oh, it's a bit icy of course. So lower gear would be best. The lights are green. I'm gonna do a quick glance just in case. One more just in case. Just going straight so he is not coming out that's bringing from him it's a 30 zone gonna go into third gear now the smaller the road i'm driving on the more icier i need to expect them to be i need the rear the mister is getting a bit misty on the back window and a bit of viper to wipe it all right in loads of vehicles the front wipers could have the automatic option but the back one don't have it like my car doesn't have the automatic on the back it just keeps on wiping okay so 30 zone but i'm keeping about 20 miles per hour i can't see nothing yeah so this is adult from here i'm gonna go into what you call that where asda is uh whole park state whole park i think yeah the cookery side and then from there I'm gonna go back to the test center. I'm taking the first left with the top and left mirrors. Second gear, I'm not braking. I'm gonna bring the clutch up a bite. I'm gonna hold it for longer so the car slows down. And now I'm gonna leave my clutch because I've reached a speed which I have wanted, which was, I wanted around 10 ish miles per hour. double bend cause quite a zigzaggy probably and I'm gonna keep on following the road so again I'm gonna leave my gas pedal now so the car can slow down because it's a bit too icy going below 15 miles per hour and I'm gonna press a bit of the gas again just a bit because hill is down so that means a bit of the gas would do the work okay it's gonna slow down too much so I'm gonna press a bit of the gas again very puddly on the right side oh i got a puddle on my side as well okay kept it slow even though there was no one coming and i got a giveaway coming up i can feel it's a crossroads because i got a choice to go straight as well so I'm gonna check my mirrors, I'm gonna slow down without the brakes. Next road gonna be 30, but the one where I'm going is gonna be 20, so clutch is down. Oh, where is the marking? Oh, it's a staggered junction, okay. So I got kind of two options here. I can go with the right and immediate left signal, or I can go without a signal as well. Visibility on the right side is fine, but not much for me to make a decision to go, so I need to edge forward a tiny bit. Clear from the left side. And I'm going and quickly left signals, even though you could have done without a signal. Okay, this road seems to be more dirty. Second gear is more than fine. I got a few hazards. Got a DPD parked on the right. A white and a black car gonna are parked over there as well. And there's a lorry who's waiting for the 
gap to go I'm gonna move a bit out let me see if he's just waiting for picking the bins or he's waiting for okay he's just waiting here yeah I thought there was traffic and he was waiting behind the traffic so what I did instead of going too close the big lorry because it would block my view I just went early to the right side to check what was happening and by the time I decided I could have moved back even if there was busy in front of him okay uh, the plan was to go right I think from here uh-huh and clutch goes down and I hate this junction like this junction is the worst basically because it's a crossroad on a very big road and it's without the traffic light so we can stop here for a good long time now I'm turning right he's turning right so we are both crossing each other's path so I'm gonna let him go first and luckily I'm gonna go road clutch is down about now I'm gonna put the car into neutral handbrakes oh my god okay checking my mirrors and I'm gonna oh I shouldn't have moved I should have waited for him to move now I'm gonna move Okay, so the traffic lights after the beep is I'm gonna be turning left. So I'm gonna break a bit now. I don't know if it's gonna be too icy or not really. But now I'm gonna check my top. Okay, traffic lights alright, so I can delay my planning a bit. I would be able to fit after the key player? Yes, I would be. Mirror is done again, clutch is down, giving him ties and power mark. And I'm gonna signal, neutral, handbrake on. Okay, mirrors again, signal is on. Oh my God, I'm moving again before him. He needs to move before I move. Okay, I was literally on the solid line, so I decided not to stop, but to carry on. Me stopping over there could have caused me a serious fall. I'm gonna tackle speed bump first, mirrors. I'm gonna move over, check my mirrors again, coming back. Yeah, I need to keep it slow. Hmm. I can feel it's a bit too icy here. Taxi with the lights on or hazard for me. Uh huh. And now we'll be taking the first right with the top and right mirrors. Right signals, slowing down without the brakes, clutch is down, second gear has been done. Keeping my clutch down, I'm going a bit over the hatch marking. No one coming from my head because it was junction on a bend and now I'm turning into the junction which is very narrow, only one vehicle fits properly. I'm gonna keep it in the middle. I got a warning for there could be people walking on the road. The top warning button. And then it's a 40 zone, but there's no chance I'm gonna do 40 miles per hour. I'm keeping about 15 which is the best option at the moment now it's getting a bit more narrow okay I'm driving in the middle I'm gonna slow down a tiny bit hmm. doing about 15 miles per hour okay all good now that's brilliant now a very very sharp corner coming up they cannot see me I cannot see them just beeped a bit mm -hmm. okay that's perfect keeping myself in second gear by the way okay I got a warning coming up which says we're gonna have a junction on the left side but I'm gonna keep on going straight 
that mean I would have priority but still need to do full check. Wow, this is very ice. Too much snow yet. Oh, the kids are like, oh wow, okay. What's the contrast setting and stuff? Okay, intercept here. I'm driving, can you feel it? I'm not driving on the left side like this, normal driving position. I'm driving literally in the middle because it's more, it's less I feel in the middle in my opinion. I could see, but I'm gonna move back. Oh, I'm not gonna move on this. I might have more chance of skidding. I'm gonna go back onto the middle of the road. Now I have to drive more on the left side because I can see a bend coming up. So soon I'm gonna check my mirrors and I'm gonna move back to the left side. Okay, seems all right. I'm gonna speed up tiny bit. Okay, that is unnecessary what I did. I think 30-ish would have been fine. <laughs> okay, and... Wow, this is so clear now, so clean. Okay, I can see far ahead a 30 sign coming up. I can see a giveaway, and now I'm turning left at the giveaway. And I can see it's bending, at, it's like bending at the last second. Mirror signal, slowing down below 20, second gear, keeping my clutch down now because I'm reaching the junction. It's gonna be a bit icy here, so I'm gonna slow down a bit. Oh, the blue car is blocking my view. Second gear is fine to move off. Mm, no, let me wait. Okay, so there's a roundabout coming up, a mini. And at the mini roundabout, I would be turning right. The car is beeping, but it's facing down a hill. I'm moving to the second gear, so I have to hold my clutch for slightly longer. I'm gonna indicate straight away. I'm gonna stop here because I can't fit behind the Audi after the zebra crossing. Okay, now I fit there. I'm still moving to the second gear. Now there's a Mercedes coming from ahead of me, but they have to give me way. The Audi should have gone first, in my opinion, because. Bro, Audi, go. You got the priority. Okay. No one coming from the right side. He caught across the mini roundabout. I'm gonna go slightly wide. Now the Audi could have just given way to people on his left side purposely, or he might have not been familiar with the priorities and stuff. Quite puddly here, so I'm gonna keep it slow. All right. Keep it a bit more slow, cause the gentleman's walking. Okay, I'm gonna slow down into second gear. I'm not trying to squeeze through that gap, not at all. Mirrors have been done. I'm gonna squeeze through the gap now, leaving them enough room and checking mirrors so the van is visible and coming back again. Now I'm gonna check my mirrors again into the third gear. <sighs> Oops, I've second gear done. And I'm gonna try to let him go first. And I'm keeping a good hold back position from there. Okay, I'm gonna stop again. And I'm perfectly positioned on the right side, that, that means people behind me, they would know that I'm just waiting for the meeting traffic. I'm gonna take this gap. That was just made a progress instead of stopping there, I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop in the next lot. Okay. I can see a few warnings on the left side on the road road works and the road could be getting narrow as well the car behind is not keeping a good gap mirrors, mirrors again okay slowing down a bit more but they're a bit too fast for the staggered junction coming up. Straight stretch of the road, the only thing I seem to be worried about is my speed and meeting traffic, that's all. Nothing else. Ah, there's nothing else to worry about here. Keeping my brake covered, I'm doing about 25 miles per hour. Far ahead, I can see a bend, and about I can see a couple of vehicles on the bend. So I need to start thinking about that stuff now. I can see a vehicle coming from all the way there. 
it's gonna cause a meeting truck off, it's gone, so I'm gonna check my mirrors. I'm gonna press a tiny bit gas, just a tiny bit gas, nothing else, and back to the brake pedal. And the mirrors are done, I'm gonna move back to the normal driving position. Now I can see less. I have almost no visibility, so I'm gonna check my mirrors, top one, slowing down to below 20 miles per hour, check the mirrors to move over, and into second gear. I'm holding my clutch for a bit longer, so the car can slow down on its own, and I'm gonna brake, and I'm gonna clutch down, and I'm gonna stop. A brilliant, perfect, a brilliant, uh, what you call the hold back position, right mirrors have been done, moving off on a higher gear, because it's also down a hill, so it's easier. Got a warning sign for a junction, but me having the priority, so not much to worry about. Again, I'm worried about the car behind me, he's not keeping a good distance. I would be doing the last roundabout, which is the one next to me, the old ball one. At this roundabout, I would be doing the exit number six on the right side. So top and right mirrors, right signal, I'm clutching down instead of braking because I know the hill is going to make me slow down. Position a bit to the right side, I'm going to bring my clutch up but I'm again down because he's coming with the right signal, he's coming towards me. Oops, the van is too close to me. I'm going to find my biting point, add a bit of the gas, I'm going to make him before him. Before him. Sixth exit, one, two, three, I'm counting when I'm reaching there. Four. That's the one before I'm taking mirror signals on the up divider. I'm gonna move towards the outer side of the roundabout, and I'm gonna take the first left. I'm gonna avoid the chunk of ice on the left side. So I'm gonna go a bit away from my normal driving position. The white Fiat gonna make me overtake at the very last second, just before the bend. So I need to be slightly slow in case someone's coming from a bit ahead, maybe a bit faster. And I'm gonna leave my gas pedal completely, covering my brakes, and I'm, I'm a bit, I'm tapping a bit of the brakes as well. And I'm turning right towards the test center, so a bit more brakes. It seems a bit too icy there. Check, 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 and I'm gonna go. Yeah, so I did a bit of, uh, I moved from the test center, did a bit of Headingley, I did a bit of Kirkstall side as well, then I went towards Adel, from Adel I went towards Cookridge, 
did a small country ride, country road, and then I came back towards the Hoso test center. So if you guys have any kind of doubts or questions or any kind of suggestion, please comment below and hope this video helps you with your driving test.